Hey team, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the ways that I like to tidy up restaurant lists. So why would you want to tidy up your restaurant list? So typically it's because venues, you know, get their data in a lot of ways. It might be through online orders over the last 10 years and they've got 100,000 emails. So hosting those emails on software such as MailChimp or ManyChat will cost a lot more for those 100,000 to opposed to just having 500 on there. So often venues want to tidy up these lists just to have the most engaged people on there. So it doesn't cost them as much money and they're not just sending out all these uh, sort of emails or messages or texts to people that are long gone and no longer engage with the business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the computer and break down the two ways that I like to do this and hopefully provide some insight on how you can do it for yourself. Okay, so the first way that I would tidy up or clean a restaurant's database is I would simply do a few broadcasts and then remove everyone who does not engage. And we use ManyChat, um, but you can sort of do this on any platform, MailChimp, etc. So this works well for email and messenger subscriptions, meaning like Facebook or Instagram messenger subscriptions, because you can see if people have clicked on buttons and you can also see if they've read. So there's bits of code that go out in these messages and which allows you to essentially pull back who has read these messages. And what that allows you to do is actually just broadcast to everyone. And then if you want to be strict, you can remove everyone who doesn't engage, e.g. doesn't click on any buttons, or you can just remove everyone who doesn't read any of it. Now, the second option would be to, and I'd recommend this for SMS, but you could do it for email or messenger subscriptions as well, it would just be to <laughs> email the list saying, hey, I'm cleaning out this list. You'd say it in a nicer way than this, but hey, I'm cleaning out this list. Um, reply with stop if you don't want to be on this list anymore. And then you just remove everyone that replies with stop. The problem with this is, let's say, the email goes to some junk mailbox that they no longer read, they're not going to reply with stop. But with SMS, it's kind of your only option for cleaning the list because you can't track necessarily, not that, to my knowledge, um, maybe you can now, but um, you can't really track if they've opened or read messages as well as you can with email or messenger subscription. So I'll just show you how we do this in many chat. So for example, let's say that you are a restaurant and you want to tidy up your email database and you want to um, get rid of people who aren't reading your emails. What you can do is you can go to broadcast on the left, you would create a new broadcast and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you'd create a new broadcast, etc., and you'd send it out. And what I'd recommend is you do this three or four times. Or what have I put here? Two or three. Two, three, four times. And then what you'll do is you'll come back into the broadcasts tab over here. You'll find one that you've done in the past. And what you can do is you can see all the people that have opened it, 358 people. And you can tag these people as, let's do an add new tag. Uh still engaged right. and so that's going to tag these 300 and so people and you do that for all of your broadcasts okay so that way you're going to start to build up a list of people with this tag that they're still engaged and then what you do is you just go to your contacts and you see there's 6200 and if you filter by tag isn't still engaged then you've got the people that aren't engaged and you can remove them from your list so that's one way of doing it and the same applies for let's see if I can find any messenger broadcasts in the past here um, yeah so let's say thus you can see that 95 point sorry 95.7% of people opened this message which is crazy good which is why uh, messenger is so powerful and you can see that 40 percent of people clicked on this message which is again crazy good which is why people like to use messenger so what you can do is you can either be strict and you can just tag the people that clicked or you can be a bit looser and just tag the people that opened and again tag these contacts with still engaged and that will add that to your still engaged list and then you're going to go through and remove everyone that isn't still engaged so hopefully that makes sense on how to do 
this one two to three broadcasts so again you do a few broadcasts and then you'd see everyone that has engaged opened however strict or loose you want to be with your rules around it tag them and then remove everyone that doesn't have that tag from your database so that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it is to broadcast the list explain that you're cleaning the list <laughs> um, and so you would just again you'd I don't know this account is set up for um, SMS broadcasts but you would do an SMS broadcast click the SMS button and you would say something like hey first name um, we're knocking off two birds with one stone here uh, everyone replies who replies with a yes goes in the draw for fifty dollar food and beverage voucher everyone who doesn't we're removing off from this database because we're trying to tidy things up on our end have a wonderful Monday you could say something like that um, and then you can just remove everyone again you do that maybe two times just to as a bit of a catch-all to make sure that no one falls through the cracks and then that's one way of cleaning your SMS database so this was a short video hopefully it provided just a few different ways to think about it again this is how I would do it I'm sure there's other people that do it in different more intelligent ways um, the other way <laughs> if you want to clean emails is you can just run them all through let's say a software called Neverbounce is what we use just to tidy up the email list um, that's kind of only applicable for emails though and I'm sure there's other cleaning software out there for phone numbers but if you're getting your phone numbers through um, let's say Facebook um, for people subscribing it's typically going to be the actual phone number because it's what they're subscribing uh, to your messenger notifications from and it is then the phone number that's attached to their Facebook account which must be a valid phone number so if you're wanting to clean your lists I would recommend doing it this way if you're concerned about the validity e.g a whole lot of my emails and stuff are bouncing you'd want to use a software like never bounce and there's there's heaps of them out there so hopefully this video provided some context um, the most helpful thing you can do if you get value from these videos is to like it just helps with the YouTube algorithm all right peace